what is up guys so today i'm back with another video and today i'm gonna compare the playstation 5 verse in the xbox series x so with that said let's get right in the video so before we get right into the video make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe so let's get right into it so as you guys know ps4 playstation the creator of ps4 has announced their ps5 and xbox the creator of xbox one has, has announced their xbox series x so i know a lot of you guys are looking on the internet to find out which is the best one to buy with your money because we all work hard and we need to make sure we buy something reasonable and worth it with our money well that's this is the video for you guys so the price hasn't been announced as yet but when it do comes out you want to make sure you are buying the right one to give you the best performance so the processors are very the same and overall the xbox processor is much faster than the ps processor so the reason why i said that is that they're both rocking the amd zen 2 core chip but with the xbox it is 3.8 gigahertz now with the ps5 it is just 3.5 gigahertz so it's like three decimal places not three decimal place it's like 0.3 off from the xbox series x so that makes it much faster now with the gpu the gpu is very much the same as i get but xbox series x is still kicking their um they're with leading i don't want to say that word but they're still leading the playstation community so they both have the amd rdna2 which comes with for the xbox comes with 12 teraflops and 52 cu so i'm guessing the cu is basically that in cuban course uh, that's what i'm kind of guessing that's what it means and now with the ps ps5 which is the playstation comes with the same amd rdn2 but this time they come with 10.28 teraflops which is 36 cu which i'm guessing means cuban cores correct me if i'm wrong down below in the comment section so they both come with the same 16 gigabyte gdd r6 ram so that's plenty of ram for you to play game as you guys know games don't really need that much ram but if you're gonna go crazy with it then it's gonna need a lot of ram and this is quite reasonable and i'm gonna get into that more after we get over these specs so the storage um playstation have a little bit different less storage but it is the same type of ssd so x xbox have one terabyte of ssd while the playstation has 825 gb of ssd i know that number is kind of unusual normally it's like 500 and then a thousand which is rounded to one terabyte so our, you normally see like 250 gigabytes but you never see like 825 gigabyte I'm yet to know why PlayStation didn't just go to the one terabyte, but I'm guessing they have some reason, whether it be budget reason, performance reason, or whatever. But I definitely know this was not done, not on purpose. It was definitely done on purpose. So the both have an optical drive of 4K Ultra HD Blu ray, and they both support 4K support, and also they support. 8k support which is pretty good and i'm looking for more gamers to get 8k displays i'm pretty sure that most of you guys watching this um video right now in 2020 i want to say the year because i know soon 8k would be the very norm for you to have so everybody will have a 8k tv soon and very soon because technology is only evolving faster and things are getting much cheaper so they have a hdr support both of them which is high dy uh, dynamic range so it makes the games look much better if they could don't come that good so it can announce their features and all those stuff and the ports for the playstation haven't been announced as yet but for the xbox we know it comes with three usb type usb dash a 
um, 3.0 ports it comes with the hdmi it comes with an optical order and it comes with a more memory slot so you can add more memory slot and the wait for these two guys hasn't been announced as yet but definitely dimensions for the xbox has been announced but not for the playstation we haven't get any image of the playstation as yet we don't know what the playstation will look like but i'm guessing it's gonna look similar unlike the xbox who's changed their their thing from more horizontal to now a vertical um unit which is pretty interesting and i'm wondering if people are gonna have problem putting it on their entertainment centers and their their tables to play games would they just put it on the ground because it's kind of like a it's kind of bit like a a desktop to be honest so i'm yet to see those memes about those the shape of it when it do comes out but i'm thinking for the price range for these stuff will be around it, i would be surprised if it comes around six hundred dollars i'm looking for it to be like a thousand dollars because with that processor right there it is pretty expensive um aston did compare it to the amd ryzen 7 and those ryzen 7 comes in around 300 dollars right now so just the processor alone is 300 dollars and then the graphics graphics is always expensive i'm guessing that's another 300 dollars i'm just guessing right now guys let me know what price range you think these might come come in but i'm guessing around 200 for the for the for the for the for the, for the cpu and another 200 dollars for the gpu which is just 600 dollars and then ssd which are very much expensive than the hard drives so as you guys can see clearly with me comparing the specs you guys can see definitely the xbox series x is definitely more powerful on sheet well in writing but we haven't yet to see a full hands-on test playing some games and comparison because as i said we haven't seen the xbox the, the xbox we've seen the xbox but we haven't seen the playstation 5 and even though we see the xbox series x we haven't seen a final product of the xbox series x as yet but at least we get an understanding of what it's gonna be like so let me also add on a why i think this is gonna be more than 600 dollars is because the xbox one x um as as a 2.3 gigahertz 8 core processor and it's a lower amd processor so and it costs 499 at the moment so just imagine that could this couldn't very much be double that price close to a thousand dollars trust me and I know people's gonna get it because it's gonna be around Christmas time. And you know, people always want to please their family and make their family happy around Christmas time. So they would definitely get this for their kids. Especially now, parents are seeing that video games are not just for losers anymore. You can actually make some money and make a living out of video game and be a successful person out of video game. So, with that said, guys, as I said, the Xbox Series X is definitely my choice as of now i haven't seen any physical hands-on of the two side and side like say they're playing gta 5 side and side and see if there is any difference a lot of time we see all these fancy specs on sheet but it outdo it it doesn't come up to standards as something that has less of these quality specs so if you guys get what i'm saying this could just be a show off for the xbox series s the playstation 5 can very much be a sleeper in this game and surprise the hell out of us so i know a lot of people is going to switch from playstation to xbox series x or a lot of people from xbox will change to ps playstation so let's see i'm going to stick to xbox tell me if you're going to stick to xbox down below in the comment section or are you going to switch to the playstation world let me know why and let me know if you think the xbox is definitely more powerful than the playstation 5 down below in the comment section so that's it for this video guys as i said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace